All in, play. Good lap down, John. Get me off the south now. So I just we're just kind of talking you edit later type yes, of thing. Yeah, Got it. Just talk directly to me. Oh, okay. Um, give me your name. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about spelling it. We've got this one down. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we get you know some long. Uh, oh yeah. But just, just say your name and your title so we make sure we get it correct. Oh okay. Doing it right. Yeah. All right. My name is Ron Davis. I'm associate professor at Ball State University in physical education with emphasis in adapted physical education. Okay. Um, Tell me about the program uh, for undergraduates here that you run, one of the only ones uh, around. Right. What we do, Al, is we have a undergraduate preparation program in adapted physical education. The program is set up with 24 semester hours to complete a minor area of study. 
We're the only one uh, in this state that has the undergraduate preparation and then the only one in about a seven state region that does this. Most of the programs are at the master's and graduate level. Describe the program for me. What do the students learn? What the students learn to do is to be teachers um, for students with disabilities in physical education. So they have an academic component to complete, which would be coursework that have lab practicums tied to them. And then they have a practicum uh, intern type of uh, responsibility to complete. And those are housed within our Ability Challenge program. Why is Ball State one of the few uh, that with a program like this? It seems like everybody wants to get involved. Well, I think we're seeing a trend um, to have that start happening. But um, it's just been the nature of what we've been able to develop here. Um, it seems that we are a undergraduate preparation school. Uh, with that emphasis and so this is a very needed area. Um, since I've been here uh, we've been able to see it grow. We were supported by the federal government on a um, three-year grant and that grant was about uh, $150,000 and so that helped to recruit students and to build the program in this area. You also have a, a, a program of recreation for the disabled here at Ball State which is quite extensive. Tell us about that. Right. The Ability Challenge program houses um, the different practicum areas for recreation. We have a weight training program. We have our Thursday night program, which is for students that use wheelchairs. And they play a number of different activities and games. The people that are responsible to running those programs are the students that are studying in adapted physical education. So, for instance, our Thursday night, which has the wheelchair, uh, students and then uh, students that have visual impairment or are blind play a game called Go Ball. And so again, our students study and adapted uh, run those programs. Are the, uh, is there a big demand now in, in secondary schools or in colleges for teachers who, can, uh, who know this kind of program? Right. One of the uh, reforms, the educational reforms that's coming through is um, a school reform with inclusion. And there's a great debate over full inclusion or just inclusion of students with disabilities into different classes. One of the particular areas that is really creating quite a, a bit of problem for teachers is physical education. Um, teachers don't have the background in preparation. Most of the teachers have 16 to 20 years experience so when they got their degrees, and kids with disabilities were segregated. And so now they're coming more and more into the, quote, mainstream, and they don't have the expertise and needed skills to do this. Our students will graduate with a bachelor's in physical education and a minor in adapted. So it's a really good, uh, quote, bang for your buck in both areas.